Hi, it's Ting Ting coming back. Uh, I've been a little bit busy in Coconut Island to help the Chinese charcoal, coconut charcoal Chinese company and their customer from Dubai. So uh, today I have a free time and I think when the sun is so when it's so sunny and most of my friends stay inside out indoor Vietnamese don't like going out at the sunny time so they well it's actually a good time to ride out because the traffic is not so busy and I will help you guys to analyze each motorbike cars in Vietnam so by looking at a motorbike you can tell the characteristic personality of those who ride it moreover this will help you guys uh, international travelers can choose the right bike for you to travel Vietnam or to help the expat who live in Vietnam choose the right bike with the right budget for you and the, more, the most important is so you can look at the motorbike, you know, they are safe or not, to stay away those which are not so safety. So it could save your life living in Vietnam by analyzing your motorbike. So that's what I do it today. For safety element, I would divide my talk into the speed. I will represent from slow and fast speed motorbike and I will finish with medium average speed so here first we will see electric bicycle is getting very popular and when you look at that it's actually one of the fastest transport in Vietnam more than bus, cars, trucks, motorbike is bicycle electric bicycle it's been ridden by students or own people and the kids the student here ride super fast so you must be very careful and stay away the electric bicycle I couldn't film it when I see it pass by faster than the wind and the next slow vehicle we have we I must mention the Honda Cup when you see a cup, it must be ridden by an old man or old woman. In Vietnam, we call this kind of Honda Cup 50cc bike is anniversary motorbike because in the past, most people have the first motorbike as a Honda rich family. The past have first motorbike as Honda Cup and it helped them to go and uh, go around and do the business and help them change their life or to have their business succeed that's why they have the nickname anniversary bike when you see this cup the brake might be not good because basically it's an own bike it means in a many accidents in vietnam you saw on vietnam street it could be honda cup on an accident so again, because of the cup problem and some other parts. Also no electric stuff. But it's very nice to use in small city, not in a big city or busy street area. Opposite to the slow group, you will have the fast group. So the faster doesn't mean it will be better. The faster also means faster better it also means you will ride faster because the speed was upgraded the top fast and expensive are we can count the honda hh the most expensive and this one will be ridden by rich people when you see somebody ride hh it's expensive people have money in their pocket that you can they can show their power, powerful people, and the seat is very quite high to show. Yeah, powerful. It runs quite smooth, very smooth on the flat road. It's an automatic one. However, because of 
is the most expensive, so it's in the top list to be got stolen in Vietnam. Or oh, 20 bytes. So, better doesn't mean faster doesn't mean better, better doesn't mean better. Go along with the fast buy, you will see some racing motorbike like they're very small called Suzuki Rider because it's small, it's narrow, so it can go really fast. Uh, the young cool boys will uh, to upgrade the engine into the higher speed motorbike. And now we move to a medium, medium speed. So first we come with the high budget. You can find an automatic Honda Airplay are very popular in Vietnam nowadays. People who buy Honda Airplay, they are quite rich too. Their budget is high because one might cost 2,000 to 3,000 USD at the moment. But they have long seat. So usually, and for the speed, it's very calm. Therefore, a lot of family where they have wife, carry wife, carry kids, the children, they choose this bike. For the more, they have a huge under storage uh, under seat and yeah if you are big body people this is um, and quite high budget you can choose this one uh, so if you have less money you can go to uh, shock the seat cars and these are usually um, have lower budget and shock the seat these are usually the choices of the young girls or old women. If you're young girls, you can ride a Honda Vision or the Janus, which is belong to Yamaha dealer. If you're an older woman, you can take on the lead because they have big storage and the seat. And, but it's a little bit heavy, but it's quite good quality. So you if you buy your Honda, you're rich. Uh, if you are, you have lower budget, you can go to other dealer like yes, SYM Sim or Yamaha. Sim friendly price, Yamaha powerful but gas consumed. How about a semi-automatic? If you see Honda Future, which is the, I think is the king of semi-automatic in Vietnam, for high quality, big seat, uh, big frame, huge storage on the seat, and the speed is very calm. So this is when you see this kind of feature. Honda feature is usually ridden by car men. Uh, they are middle aged men. They have quite high budget. A middle aged men own people. They are careful. They are super slow rider and very common, just slow and safe. So it's good to be close to these calm people and calm motorbikes. After Honda Future is Honda Wave. Uh, other brand you have Honda Play or SYM Sim Elegant. Other brand which is average price, one thousand USD for a brand new semi-automatic. And this is the group, the most uh, used, the most budget group in Vietnam, one thousand USD. Is semi-automatic. It's very easy to fix. It can be fixed everywhere and by any mechanic in Vietnam it can go on the flat area or go on the hill area or mountain it's it's a how do I say it's a multi-function motorbike and the parts are very long lasting and cheap therefore it's the most seen group in Vietnam here you will see a lot of laborers, boys and men will um, use this car to buy. Uh, the farmers, the countryside farmers and their family choose this car to buy because they are long.
economical and many of them they only ride slow they are quite slow riders here you will see even motorbike taxi men also uh, chose this kind of semi-automatic second hand one easily cost three hundred dollars and you still have good quality long lasting easy to fix but you just need to learn how to ride it and I hope you can understand and you can one day if you are in Vietnam you can find a more suitable one for you for your purpose and the more important it, it could save your life and please stay away from fast motorbikes or too old motorbikes thank you for listening and we'll see you very soon you might wonder what do I ride? Um, well, uh, what I choose to ride is... Is it beautiful? No. It's an ugly one. Is it a popular brand? No. It's a um, sensitive brand. It's corn. S-Y-M or SIM. Like I said, only sensitive people ride this uh, wear brand uh, bike. Why I choose this? Because they are quite long lasting. Uh, all the parts are just as good as Honda. But it could be much cheaper. So, and it's also possible to fix everywhere. So. I just go for this. Oh, it's not a beautiful. Mm. I don't have to worry about the teeth, about robbers, because they only care about the brand. Mm. In Vietnam Road, there are some imported bikes like Harley Davidson, or Honda XR, or CB, Ducati. Those are very expensive motorbikes. Um, how do I say? Uh, here I'm talking about Vietnamese people. So I hope today you kind of understand who ride this bike and who ride that bike, shock seat, cute girl, and who ride this um, racing bike or who ride a semi-automatic.